All right, hello everybody. Welcome to my playthrough of Voice of Cards, The Isle Dragon Roars. Um, I played the demo. If you didn't catch me playing that, you can check out the demo uh, on my VOD channel. Which, if you're watching this on my YouTube VOD channel, then... I don't know how you missed it. <laughs> But the game is officially out. Um, I do recommend playing the... Or, I do recommend either watching me play the demo or you playing the demo yourself. Uh, simply because the characters that you play as in the demo aren't the main characters. So it is slightly different and you do get to see like the scenario that they work through. Um, and that's as far that's as far as I know. So, that's my recommendation. But yeah, let's try out the new game. I'm very excited. Good afternoon. Or should I say evening? <gasps> Morning. Morning? At any rate, afternoon. I'm the game master. Pleased to make your acquaintance. Before we begin, there is something I must tell you. You see, okay. my job is to draw you into this world with my voice and cards. Which is why I believe it best for you to play with the sound on. Okay, fact, I'm I doing that. On it. However, as you can see, my voice is subtitled, so you can always read along as well. For the most part, because I'm covering some of it. <laughs> Oh, do you like to display the subtitles? Of course. Yes. Also, uh, if you're also watching this not on Halloween and you're like, what are, what are those bat wings on your head? Yeah, I'm wearing these because it's Halloween today. This is being recorded on Halloween. So yeah, thank you so much if you're watching this live. If not, that's cool. Thank you for watching it as a bot. It really helps me out a lot. Thank you. But yeah, this is my festivity fun. <laughs> Which, oh my god, chat. Chat watched me troubleshoot it for so long. Thank you, guys. Remember, you can always change these settings. Okay. Now then, are you ready? Yes. Let's begin. <clears throat> Welcome to Voice of Cards. You are about to take the first steps of your adventure. Through a realm of sword and sorcery you will travel, battling bloodthirsty monsters as you strive to realize your ambitions. I have every faith you will accomplish great things here. Who might you be? I? I am merely a witness to your exploits. Mm. Now then, your departure draws nigh. May your journey be a safe one. Thank you. I love his voice. Ooh, okay. It's our main chapter. We begin in a cave. The surrounding rocks are slimy with damp. It feels as if some foul creature could leap out from the shadows at any moment. Yet in this horrible place gathers a fellowship of three adventurers. One is a young woman. You can tell just by looking at her, she enjoyed a good upbringing. Another is a stoic warrior. He stands at the ready, scanning his surroundings for any sign of threat. Last but not least is the old man. He has a sagely air and gazes into the darkness stretching out before him. These adventurers seek a certain treasure hidden in this cave. Further into the cave. Piece in the metal. Use the WESD cards. Or keys. An iron door towers before you. It has rather conspicuous handles. Well, we know to pull. Wait, did we pull a push last time? I guess, yeah, they skip like the intro, the scenario. Interesting. 
I don't re I don't remember anymore. Did I push? I think I pushed, right? I'm just gonna I'm gonna pull. <laughs> Card. The stoic man takes hold of the handles and pulls as hard as he can. But the door doesn't so much as budge. The stoic man winds his leg back and lets fly a powerful Far win. kick into the door. As his foot connects, the door trundles to the side. So it was one of those sliding contraptions. Far win, that's rude. Now, now it's just open to anybody. Something leaps out at the fellowship from the darkness. Ooh. Let's do this. The fight is on. Wow, they got super strong while we were away. What the... Okay. Use one of our dice or gems. Sheesh, these guys got so strong. I'm just obliterate him. Oh my goodness, these guys got strong while we were away. What the? Oh, this XP, that's not going to me. These adventurers have seen their fair share of battle and defeat their attackers with ease. <laughs> treasure chest. As the trio approaches the treasure chest, an awful rumbling resounds deep in the cave. You shall not have it, a voice before the wary trio appear creatures the likes of which they've never seen. Oh, I bet I've seen them. I love the little mealhead lanterns. They're so cute. Oh, they fit. Oh my gosh, they fit today so well, too. I wonder if they're lanterns like this normally. Nice work. Ouch. I'm gonna freeze this guy because he's kind of a pain. Freeze. Shoot. Barwick's pretty strong. He'll obliterate him. Fortune favors the bold. No, I'm just smart. Oh my god, these guys got so strong! Crit. That was lucky. No, I'm smart. I'm gonna hurricane blast him. Only seven? That doesn't seem fair. So hi, if you're just joining us, welcome. Okay, XP. Oh my gosh, that's so much. Oh. There is treasure inside, no doubt about it. But it's locked tight. There's gotta be a way to open it. The key. <laughs> the woman slides the simple key into the lock. The chest clicks open. Oh, 
Oh yeah, let's lube Inside it up with the well, the world, with the sail. Ordinary medicine bottle. With the. I love the design of the bottle. At last, we've retrieved the royal treasure. The old man says, the woman and warrior exchange a nod. Found the royal treasure. Their quest complete, the triumphant trio put the cave behind them. Long, long ago, the people lived in peace. But then the dragon appeared, sowing terror throughout the land. Valiantly, the kingdom fought, claiming narrow victory. Grievously wounded, the dragon fled. Thence after, the years passed. People again knew peace. Until the dragon returned. Now the queen gathers adventures to slay the dragon. Chapter 1 Journey in Pursuit. Ooh! Here comes the queen. <laughs> this is Castle Advent. Queen Nilla reigns over the kingdom from within its walls. In the crowded audience chamber jostle all manner of knights, adventurers, and bounty hunters. The white-robed adventurers stand close to the throne. A palace guard calls over the tumult. Be silent. Her royal majesty graces us with her presence. Everybody be quiet. The queen has come in. The cacophony ceases the moment Queen Nilla enters the chamber. Seated upon the throne, the queen faces the crowd. Her lips part. Thank you all for heeding my call to slay the dragon. Whatever it takes to defeat this reawakened evil, I ask that you do it. Whomsoever conquers this beast will be honored for ages to come and handsomely rewarded. Mm. At that, the gathered crowd cheers loud enough to shake the castle's very foundations. <laughs> Leave the dragon to us, your majesty, say the white-robed adventurers, as if the beast's demise at their hands is assured. Indeed, you did well to reclaim the royal treasure, the queen replies. I thank you, for my stomach becomes most upset without it. So the treasure is a staple of the royal medicine cabinet. It puts my mind at ease to know the ivory order offers its aid in slaying the dragon. The trio are disciples of the ivory order, a charitable organization beloved the realm over. Indeed, anyone would think this illustrious trio the heroes of our tale. But they'd be wrong. Oh. So we just gotta slay oh, the dragon so cute. and we'll be drowning in gold. The man trails off, drooling over unknowable fantasies. Beside him, a strange creature lets out a chirping coo. Uh, pay attention, because this is important. There he is, or there you are, I should say. <gasps> Me. The hero oh, I'm so handsome. Of a humble bounty hunter. You love little in this realm more than coin. My man gets me. <laughs> A seemingly tedious fellow who doesn't hesitate to claim the title of hero for yourself. When you heard about the quest to slay the dragon, 
It was the promise of reward that lured you to the castle. Now then, if you wish to officially register for the hunt, see me so I can get your signature. You wonder why you need to sign anything, but head for the guard anyway. For the reward, silly! Hmm, okay, we got to the left one. Shall Stand before we? the guard and sign your name. Sure. See the cards glow with edges? Okay, trigger them. All right. We of the Ivory Order will be the ones to restore peace to the land. Grabs a white <gasps> the designs. Man. They're so good. My colleague made me come along, but he didn't mention we were going on a quest to slay the dragon, she says, <laughs> trembling. <laughs> Rude. That reward for slaying the dragon is as good as mine, barks the man. If the heroes of the Ivory Order are hunting the dragon, he's as good as dead, says the man, relief spreading across his face. You think the dragon's really as tough as they say? Asks the man, his knees knocking together. I mean, with me on the case, of course not. The man takes one look at your companion and shrieks, Monster! Rude! I'm not a monster. Keep your ears perked. You never know what you might hear that'll lead you in the right direction, the man says, you think. You'll need tough gear if you're going to beat the dragon, the man tells you. Hmm. Sign here, says the guard, handing you a pen and paper. Dragon Hunters. Oh, his name is Ash? Ash. Um. I kind of don't want to change the name then, like, if he has a set name. Oh, what would our guild name be, though? Oh, I don't like when they do this. Um, what's our hunting name? Um... Well, is it our guild name, or is it, like, the that dude's name? Because if it's a dude's name, I don't want to change his name. His name is Ash. Ash the Slayer. No more than 12 characters, oh no. Ugh. Starlight... Slayers... No! Or the one letter Slayers. No, it doesn't... If it was with a Z... Ah, oh, Starlight Slayers. Yeah, it's one too many. No! Husbando Corp. No, I'll, I'll, I won't. I will, okay, no, no, no. I'll just keep it default. And then when I replay it, because I most likely will replay it, I'll do the silly name then. Ash, have you gotten that written down all right? That's right. You sign your name. A fine name. After you've it's signed, right. the guard motions to the strange creature beside you. The monster, too. You sign your companion's name as well. Mar. Mar. Cute. Mar, 
your friend and sometimes traveling companion. Though he can't speak the human tongue, he seems to understand it well enough. Oh, are you a smart boy as yes, you are? Thank you. Now we'll know what to have engraved on your tombstones. Rude. I'm not going to go anywhere. Can't ask the dead what name to mark their grave with, after all. The guard, you want the reward as badly as you don't want to die. You figure you better make some strong friends. Speak with others gathered in the hall. Okay. Kind of already did. Offer to join forces with the Ivory Order trio? No. With no particular business, you take your leave. They're definitely not going to take me. They're going to be like, you're like a freaking beginner. You're a newbie. You can pair up with us. Going to be real uppity about it. <laughs> I'll let the order handle this. Me, I'm heading home. Oh. What about the other guy? Never know what you might hear that'll lead you in the right direction. The man wanders off somewhere, muttering to himself. All right, thanks. You'll need tough gear, the man says, wandering off. Anybody want to pair ask up? him to team up, but he refuses angrily. I ain't splitting the reward with nobody. You weren't <sighs> planning on sharing either, so you don't try to change his mind. We can share a little bit. Before you even open your mouth to ask him to team up, he cuts you off. Thanks, but no thanks. Shoot. No way am I adventuring with anyone who keeps that sort of creepy company. He He's says. not creepy! He's cute! What about you guys? You guys kind of seem. Let us depart. We have a realm to save. He grabs his less than enthused colleague by the wrist and drags her off. You catch a glimpse of the terrified look on her face. And then the two disappear out of the audience Dang chamber. It. I was gonna say, they don't seem nice. What about you? I am one of the guards charged with the castle's protection. Mm. I take not a single step from my post. Okay, they are just guards. You've yet to well. find any help for your quest. Things don't look that reassuring as they are. But the decision is up to you. Yeah, leave the hall. Put the castle behind you. In the end, you set out, just the two of you, to hunt the dragon. Set forth in pursuit of the dragon. Okay. Item shop. People. A oh, weapons no way that scared me. You in the street, despite your best efforts to mind your own business. He speaks to you in a voice barely above a whisper. You want the most powerful weapon there ever was? He conspicuously <gasps> checks his surroundings before revealing this weapon of apparent renown to you. To hear him tell it, this is a legendary weapon. And one of its kind at that. It can be yours for 20,000 gold pieces, he says. Mm, I don't have that much money. I'm poor. You can smell the scam a mile away. And yet the aura of this weapon does have something of the legendary about it. It's very pretty. <laughs> you think I have that much money? I only have a thousand gold coins. No. You ask who in their right mind would pay so much for something so clearly fake, stolen, or forged. Well, you know where to find me, if you change your it mind, It does look he cool. Says, tucking the weapon away. It looks super cool, but yeah, I can't afford that, you know? I'm poor. 
How may I help you? The proprietress inquires. Oh, she's cute. Bye. So, hi, Panda. Hi, Dave. Hello, Yamun. A bomb. Take one. Never know. Buy one, just in case. Will that be all? The proprietress yes, asks. Yes, it will be. The old man kindly warned you of the dangerous monsters outside of town. Oh, I know. Killed the door. Okay, well, I can't go there. The child says you should see Nexton as soon as you leave the castle town. Nexton? Carriage shop? You peek inside the carriage shop oh. only to hear the owner call out that they're closed. Guess you won't be making use of them Dang after Dang it. What's the sign say? Before you stands a sign calling for people to join the hunt for the dragon. Mm hmm Earlier, you saw the bit about the handsome reward for whoever slays the dragon and hightailed it to the castle. A woman stares at the sign transfixed her face curls into a scowl as she notices you monster the woman cries <gasps> and flings magic evil startled by the spell mar grows dizzy oh no mar you shout mar are you all right you gather the dizzy mar in your arms and glare at the woman Bonker. This ain't a monster, you growl. As the woman snarls over you, I hate monsters. The two of you bicker for quite a while. Bonker. One hour later. Inwardly, you call her unsavory names as your attention shifts to a different topic of conversation. In the end, the woman admits she may have jumped to conclusions, but stubbornly refuses to apologize. Should be stubborn about this. You should apologize. You were in the wrong. Turns out she really hates the dragon and would love to take him down with her own two hands. But she knows she's no match for him alone, so she's at a loss for what to do. Ah, <sighs> we gotta team up with her. When you tell her you're after the same thing, she squints down her nose at you. Fine, she says. I can help you. You can help me? As if... No, you were mean to Mar. I don't want to, but I think we're at a loss here. I think we're gonna have to. Fine. Only because it's for convenience sake. As soon as we're able to drop her, we're dropping her. She's a little annoying. But you are looking for quest companions. I only want to see the dragon dead. I don't care about anything else, she mutters. You overhear her remarks and grin without thinking. Then you don't care about getting a share of the reward. That suits you perfectly. You happily join forces with a black-clad woman. She yeah, introduces we gotta think about the cost. as Melanie. Melanie. She tells okay. you she is a witch, but says nothing of why she hates monsters or what grudge she bears against the dragon. Hmm. Melanie joins your party. Yep, guess we're heading out. Picked up one companion. Make your way to Nexton, south of Advent. Press the escape key to go to the menu. Change skills or equipment. Cards you encounter on your journey will be added to your collection. Okay. Admire cards illustrations or replay movies you've unlocked. Hmm. Yes.
Ask around next in for more information on the dragon. Welcome to Nexton, hails a man. Anything you want to ask uh, about the dragon? You try asking the man if he knows anything about the dragon. Oh, Mac! Thank you for the raid! You're wonderful. Thank you. So are you. Hello, raiders. Welcome. My name is Moika, and I'm playing Voice of Cards. Thank you for the follow. Uh, yeah, this is like a... It's if you know anything about Nier or Dragon Guard, it's the creative director for this game is the same guy. And it's like it has this vibe of like Dungeons and Dragons. You have a narrator who's reading out your adventure and you're like playing out this like tabletop card game, basically. Um, and we're on a journey to slay a dragon. We're trying to find companions. The man's eyes widen. He leans close. Cupping his hand to his mouth. Welcome to Nexton, he whispers in your ear. Okay. He likes to repeat that a lot. The woman so I'm not gonna you ask him anything so anymore. Terrified of what might happen if the dragon attacks the town. She hasn't been able to eat. The man helpfully advises you take the opportunity to purchase equipment and curatives while you are in town. A woman sits hunched over by the side of the road. Upon catching sight of you, she calls out for your aid. She sprained her ankle and needs you to take her to the nearby apothecary. Sure. Sure. You try to lift the woman into your arms, but the weight's too much <laughs> for you weak. to bear. <laughs> you lay the woman back down where you found her and mutter a quiet farewell before turning to leave. <laughs> <laughs> ah! She can't do that! We gotta help her! The least we could do is go to the apothecary ourselves and bring her back the medicine. Oh my goodness. Oh, I hate to host and run, but we have to carve pumpkins. Yeah, no worries. Don't worry about it. Thank you for stopping by. I appreciate it. Yeah, get that. Get the lurk on. Uh, we have a lurk command. There you go. Thank you for stopping by. I appreciate it. Have fun. Upon seeing that, Melanie snaps. What kind of person are you? Mm. We've got a dragon to worry about. Uh, it's not... Well, it is kind of his fault, because he hasn't trained, so he's not big and strong. It's okay, though. With me, he's going to become big and strong and more, more sympathetic to those around him, I hope. Hmm... <laughs> Got a dragon to worry about. We've got the dragon to worry about, you say, like an insensitive jerk. <laughs> Ignoring you, Melanie gingerly helps the woman up. Mar bends so the woman can get on his back, and the two of them head Aww. off in search of the apothecary. I love Mar. So cute. Good boy. You watch them walk away for a moment before following, complaining to yourself about what a waste of time this is. Oh, you. We got plenty of time. You can jump upward facing terrain cards. Use the arrow to... Jump and then press enter. Try jumping to the apothecary. Okay. <sighs> you arrive at the apothecary. After taking a curative, the woman begins hopping up and down. 
Nothing holds a candle to ivory order medicine, she beams. She thanks you and pulls something from her breast pocket. Ooh. Mysterious card. You have no idea how to use it, but you put it somewhere safe for the meantime. You've helped someone. Albeit not quite out of the goodness of your own heart. It might be a good idea to do that again, should you come across anyone else in need of assistance. I will. Scour the streets of Nexton for more information on the dragon. You fulfilled the necessary requirements and unlocked Mature Woman's flip side story. You can read special stories about the characters and enemies amongst your collected cards. Progress through the adventure and defeat a myriad of enemies in your path to collect every special story. Do your collection? Not right now. Gotta find out more about the dragon! The girl says if you follow this road northwest for a bit, you'll come to Thrysten. Thrysten? Hello, if you're still joining us, welcome. Northwest. Okay. What do you have? Ooh, generate three gems. Oh, but it's so expensive. Uh, facilitates an escape from dungeons. Uh, no, I think one one bomb is enough. Yeah, that'll be it. What about you? It seems the majority of the world's medicine is made by the Ivory Order. Many people depend on it. That's probably part of the reason the Order has so many ardent supporters. Hmm. Oh, there's the inn. Apparently a monster researcher lives in Thryston and might know something about the dragon. Hmm. Will he know about Mar? It seems you've learned all you can here. Oh, <laughs> thank you for the head bat. Mm, seems I did move myself a bit too far up. I'm going to move myself a little bit more down. There we go. That should help. Ah, ah, ah. Where's the game? There we go. Mmm, is the carriage still closed? Here the owner calls out they're closed. Okay. Ow. As your eyes roam everywhere but the path you walk, you barrel right into someone. Uh-oh. When you turn to see who it is, you see the Ivory Order trio from the castle. Winifred, are you all right? The sagely old man asks the woman, voice full of concern. I'm fine, the woman called Winifred replies. Thank you, Hedowin. Berwin, the old man calls, turning to their stoic companion. He jerks forward as if to defend Hedowin and Winifred. The trio advances on you. How dare you treat disciples of the Ivory Order with such I'm disrespect. sorry, I wasn't looking. I wasn't looking where I was looking or going. I'm sorry. Mm. I offer my life as restitution. You broke my bloody foot. That's where you're going. No, you <laughs> offer my life. I'm gonna play it up. We're gonna... Try to. <laughs> I offer my life as restitution. I'm sorry. You fall to your hands and knees, pressing your forehead to the dirt in supplication. 
I offer my life as restitution, you sob. Winifred stares at you, bewildered you would go to such ridiculous lengths to apologize. Muttering a half-hearted apology, you try to keep walking. But that's when you notice something in your hand. Looks mm -hmm. like you accidentally grabbed Winifred's <gasps> coin purse when you ran into her. Ash, naughty boy! Thief, bellows Berwin, drawing his weapon. Guess you've got to fight your way past. Oh, we are losing. They're so strong now. Oh my good Ash, naughty boy. No, don't attack more. He didn't do he doesn't deserve this. He did nothing wrong. <gasps> oh my gosh! Right. The coffin card is down, but they're still alive. Oh. Oh goodness. Stop. We're losing. I'm sorry. Oh no, there we we do not survive this. That pass. I'm sorry that my my husband over here to the left is a freaking idiot. Oh my gosh! I'm gonna have to teach this boy some things. <laughs> Oh no. The Ivory Order laid you out flat. The Ivory Order trio looks at you like they can't believe such a weakling would even try to hunt down the dragon. Taking pity on your ineptitude, the Ivory Order Trio uses their magic to heal your wounds. We mustn't tarry any longer. To the monster researcher of Thryston with us, Hedowin urges his companions <gasps> They're and going the trio there too. depart. Lead onward in search of the dragon. Okay. <sighs> Ash, naughty boy. Dear goodness. Aimless wandering can be fun, but if you want purpose and direction, I'd suggest sticking to the path. Okay. Follow the road leading to Nexton, or out of Nexton. While exploring the world and diving deep into dungeons, you will encounter enemies with which you must do battle. Your adventure will be over if everyone in your battle party is KO'd. Should the journey meet an unfortunate end, you can continue from your last save point. So it is of your interest to save often. Select data and okay. Any treasure? Treasure? Okay, monster. These guys are up more our speed. These are gems. You can spend them to use certain skills. You can store up to 10 at a time. All right. We know dish. So good. We know we get it. Mm. Bing. Oh, he's so weak. That was lucky. Dear Lord. Oh, good boy. Nice work. Mm -hmm. All right, nice job, everyone. We've survived. And got some coin. Feel your card, sure. Julie might not be a bad idea. Um, items. Self, self, self. Could revive a person and the bomb. Okay. Oh, equipment. 
Don't have any. Okay. That might be why we're really weak. We're upstarters, you know? <laughs> Event. Lying in the grass, you find an old telescope. You figure a look at the path ahead can't hurt. <gasps> Pick it up. Ooh. <laughs> Peering through the lens, you see something in the distance, but you can't tell exactly what. What is that? All you know is there's something up ahead. You should be able to tell for certain mm -hmm. what it is if you get closer. What's that symbol? What will you do? Rush up to it. I kind of... I guess I would be... I guess I would want to like inch a little bit closer and then go around. What is it? It looks like some sort of sword. Go around, I guess, might be the safer option. Figuring it's best not to go looking for trouble, you decide to detour around it. Still, you can't help wondering what that thing was. A monster, I'm assuming. Huh. I don't think we're strong enough for it, so... We know somewhere out here there's something that we can go up to. Hmm. Oh, that guy again. Was he... Was it fire that hurt him? Or that he was weak to? Yeah, fire. I'm sorry! Ooh. Oh. That was nice. <laughs> Ash leveled up. <gasps> oh, and we we oh, he heals. Ooh, so he will be our healer. This way to Tristan. Can I go up in a... I guess not. Oh! How's that? You kick a rock down the road, muttering about what jerks those three from the <laughs> Ivory Order are. Ash, get over it! <laughs> Cut it out, chides Melanie. She warns you your anger will only come back to bite you in the rear. You grumble, but your sulking is cut short when out of the thicket leaps a monster. Ooh. The rock you kicked must have hit it because it is really mad. <laughs> Brace yourself for battle. Oh, you. Oh, goodness. He's a strong boy. Mm hmm. Da -da 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 -da. Oh, I love the music. Keichi Okabe always coming out with these great songs. Mm, I should heal up Mar. He's almost dead though. There we go. Mmm, a hundred gold. Oh, and he leveled up. Good. Body slam. Deal damage equal to the value of two rolled dice. Ooh. What's around here, though? Oh, wait. Can I heal him out of battle? Skills. Heal. Ah. I can't. Okay. Got a little extra money. 
Hi. I don't know what to say. That's all right. You could just say hi. That's fine. Or we have a lurk command that does the job for you. Mm, I kind of want to explore. <gasps> mm -hmm. Oh, With a whoosh what was of that? Displaced air, something shoots across the path right in front of you. Mm -hmm. What is that thing? Look like an item. Bottle medicine? Glancing in the direction it went, you see some sort of bottle on the ground. You head over for a closer look. Hmm? It's a bottle of medicine, just like you thought. It'd be a waste to just leave it there. So you pick it up and put it in your pack. Tint antidote. How is it walking on its own? Hmm. Enemy appears. <laughs> Oh, he heals up once you level up. Perfect. Select items with the R key. Carrying many items, press N or M to scroll. Okay. I'm sorry. You're so cute. But you must go. Mmm, we're hitting twos now. Mm, eh, we'll just do a normal one. <gasps> Dang, strong boy. Mm, okay, that's pretty good. <gasps> oh, another level up. Ooh, lightning strike. <gasps> Ooh. Suffer. Ooh, and wind. Ooh, well, we get a treasure chest too? <gasps> oh, hmm. Also, thank you for the follow. Welcome. Hmm, any miny mo catch a dagger by his toe. Okay, I'll go with this one. Oh, it's another anna. No, the quality self. Oh. Dang it! It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Mountains. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. I don't remember for these guys. Was yeah, it was just fire. Nice. More leveled up. Western cave. I don't want to go there quite yet. Find an old telescope. Oh, another one of these. <gasps> oh, we can take that on. Peering through the lens, you see something in the distance, but you can't exactly tell what it is. All you know is that there is something ahead. Oh, you do. Rush up to it. Drawing we got upon this. Drawing your courage, you toss the janky telescope aside and charge ahead with your friends. <laughs> Looks like a monster, but it's not moving like any mm -hmm. monster you've ever seen. The sight of you startles it away. Oh. That was weird. Hmm, it's the ocean. <gasps> treasure! Found treasure. Oh! It's a lot of money. Free money. <laughs> Thunder roars overhead. Watch out for lightning. Roll for higher to avoid danger. Oh boy. Oh, 
Ooh. You and your friends are lucky enough to make it through without <gasps> being struck by lightning once. I did it. Good job, team. That's nice. Those are nice little events. It really makes it feel like a tabletop game. Find an oak telescope. Okay. Hmm. What is that? Let's inch closer. You leave the janky telescope where you found it and make your way cautiously toward what you saw. Gotta be gentle with Looks these like guys. Some monsters prowling about. Will you fight them? I kind of want to let it be. I'll let it be, and if it picks a fight with us, then we'll take them down. You do the monsters a solid and leave them in peace. Hmm. Interesting. Treasure. Ooh, a soothstone. Free. Da, da, da. Mm -hmm. <gasps> Another telescope. See what happens this time. Oh, oh, it's this guy again. Okay, this time we'll be gentle. Inch closer. You spot a loitering monster. These monsters are a common sight, but you've never seen one move quite like this before. You can't not fight such a unique monster. Eagerly, you draw your blade. Hmm, this one we gotta fight him. Okay. Hmm. Fire. Oh goodness, one shot him. Ooh, a lot of EXP. Oh boy. All right. Oh my gosh, we learned. Uh, we just skipped. Uh, oh, wow, 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 wow. <gasps> skipped levels. Now we're level five. Deal damage to all enemies. Ooh. Which. Oh no, she didn't learn anything. Okay. Wow. Okay, well, yeah, let's enter Thurston. We can explore more later. Visit the good doctor. Okay. Lucky for you, there are all sorts of establishments in the town to support. Would you care to have them explained? No, I know. Thank you. So establishments here are here to help you. Don't be a stranger. I know. It seems the sound of a flute could once often be heard coming from the doctor's house. His neighbors complained about the noise, though, and all has been quiet mm. since. Apparently, monsters have been mugging people along this stretch of road lately. The Ivory Order is searching for where they're stashing the stolen goods. Oh, they're stealing. The man says you'll need a torch to explore caves. And, he adds, it just so happens you can buy them at the item shop. You mm. get the feeling he probably works for said shop. I can do that. The man scours his skin with a washcloth, trying to rid himself of all odor. Mm -hmm. Apparently, he blames his natural musk for his unlucky love life. You catch a whiff of scent wafting off him. It is rather pungent. Are you sure it's not your clothes? 
An idea strikes you. Maybe getting rid of the toxins within the body would get rid of the odor without, too. Test out your theory by giving the man an antidote? Sure. You hand an him extra an antidote one. and he chugs it down. As soon as he's finished, the odor completely disappears. Ooh, Overjoyed, we did it. the man resolves to tell the person he likes how he feels. From his breast pocket, the man pulls out something to give you in thanks. Hmm? Ooh, two. Serious card two acquired. Hmm, okay. Scrub, scrub. I would like to buy a torch. I've made some money. Mm. Buy more. Buy like three. Four? I'll buy four. But wait, oil pot. Add three to fire damage. Target takes for three turns. I feel like we don't. I don't need that though. We've gotten. We've leveled up quite a bit. Or I guess that's added. Damn. Well, we've made a few money. Okay, I will buy. I'll buy one. I can still buy. Yeah, I can still buy four. I don't want to go under a thousand. Okay, buy more. I'll buy four, just in case. Bye. It leaves me with a hundred for later. Hmm. Oh, but the armor shop. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Game parlor. Oh, this I love this place. <laughs> Come play cards, the boy at reception calls. Yes, sir. No, I know how to play these games. Hit me with the cards. Uh, simple. Please begin. Begin game. Loading. Let's see who will go first. I got this. Oh, he gets to go first. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. the same. Yes. Mm -hmm. Um, I can get a three. I'm gonna, I'm gonna gamble though. I'm gonna keep that eight. Oof. for now. Shoot, if that had been a seven, oh my gosh. Ah, seven or three. I'm gonna get rid of that one. I'm scared. I'm really scared to put down the eight and then he's gonna steal it. So I'm gonna put down the six. and an eight. So that's fine. Yes. Oh, 
19 cards remaining though. I'm getting sweaty. Mm hmm. Two ones. Draw two cards from the deck. Mm. Wait. There we go. Yes. Oh, I've only had been able to do eight, seven, and six for one. Twelve cards remain. Keep them. Obviously, I'm gonna get rid of these. <laughs> So, yes, Yoko Taro worked as the creative director for this game, so that is why it feels like a Yoko Taro game. Uh, Keichi Okabe also did the music. Yes. I will get rid of... My... What is this? What's this one? This other one's 15, so... Oh, this poor kid's losing so hard! I took all the good cards at the start of the game! <laughs> Throw them away anyway. Mm, here are the one. I'm sorry. <laughs> I win. That's the game. Now then, who is our winner? Well, me, of course. Coming up with at number two with 24 points is the Game Parlor Reception. Coming up as number one with 47 points is Ash. We win. Ha 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 ha. Good job. The boy praises you. Proffering a gift in commemoration of your first win. Mm hmm Yeah, what is it? Ooh, marble dice. Mmm. Add skills. I'm scared to play with skills. Simple, I could do easy. <laughs> with skills, I'm scared. <laughs> Um, what do you have to say? The woman who fashions herself a missionary of love haughtily cries she's too beautiful and popular for her own good. <laughs> okay. Uh-huh. 
The woman tells you a monster stole something very valuable from her. Mm -hmm. If only someone could get it back for me, she sighed. What did it steal, you ask? Medicine, says the woman, to give my skin a lustrous glow. Mm hmm, I see. Cypri and Ombre, uh, I'm sorry, Cyprian Amber has lived here for many years, conducting research on monsters. All the townsfolk affectionately call him Cypri. If anyone knows anything about the dragon, it's him. He's a veritable monster expert. Mm. Ask uh, Cypri about the dragon? Yes. You ask Cypri if he knows anything about the dragon. He says he'll tell you if you do him a favor. Mm -hmm. What is it? The monsters stole a precious treasure from him. If you reclaim the treasure, Cypri promises to tell you all he knows about the dragon. Mm, sure. It seems the treasure-thieving monster makes its hideout in the western cave. That's where you'll want to head. Mm hmm. Okay, so the order is probably already over there. <sighs> okay. How may I help you? The proprietor. Maybe I'll inquires. break my budget. Mm, plus three armor, or plus five magic staff, and plus six. Ooh. It's only three, but. Mm, let me see. Mm. Ring of protection is only plus two. Poison stay ring protects against poison. That would be really nice, actually. And then I don't have to worry about antidotes. I do have a few, though, so I don't think I have to worry about that for now. Oh, I feel like I should get the armor. I feel like I should get us armor. Maybe not for Ash. Oh. You know what? Buy an equip. Yeah. All of my money. Um, I oh, as much as the extra damage on Melanie would be nice, I think I'm gonna buy her armor. Yes. Ugh. Okay, I I will buy you something next time. Will that be all? The proprietor yes. asks. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. I guess we're off to go adventure. And make more money so I can buy stuff for everyone. Mm hmm? Mm hmm? Hmm? What are we going up against? Mm. Two. Mm. Add value of roll to attack and deal bolt damage. Okay, we're making some money.
fulfilled the necessary requirements and unlocked Fur Ball's enemy story. Hey. Let's hop on over. At least level three before entering. Yes. Yes, I would like to. Light can't reach the furthest depths of the cave. It may be impossible to proceed without a torch. Haha! <laughs> I've prepared. What will you do? Use a torch. You light the torch. It'll be much easier to explore now with your surroundings better illuminated. Search for Cypri's priced position. Okay. Though the torch lights your immediate surroundings, you still cannot peer far into the distance. What if I use three more torches? Mm. Enemy appears. Okay. Gotta knock them down. Also, I like Don't exploring. So. Don't mind if I do. What is he. Remember, what is he weak to? Was it wind or thunder? Mm, those darn twos. Mm, roundhouse. Oh, that deals quite a bit of damage. Not a lot of money. Rumor has it that the dragon likes dragon nuts. Oh my goodness. You are not trying to do one of those jokes in my chat, Samu. The ground tinkles beneath your feet. You look down to find it is littered with empty medicine bottles. Has someone been on a bit of a binge? Hmm. A message is carved into the ground. Never forget. A bitter final missive from an adventurer done in by monsters, perhaps. Mm hmm. No chest? Okay. My goodness. Sorry. Hmm. There we go. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Wait, I want to go to the right. Maybe I can make some money. Mm, we could get that, so he should go down. As long as... No, he gets to go first. Darn it. Hey, that's rude. Say if yeah, if we could attack first, he would have definitely gone down. Okay, <laughs> Melanie leveled up. <gasps> Freeze. Yeah, I guess she just knows all the elements, or will. Uh, I wanna go middle. Salve. Curative. No. Oh. Okay. Curative might have been nice. Mm. <gasps> Treasure. Treasure chest was found. Oil pot. Oh. Now we have two. Gotta clear the map. It'll make me. I'll, I'll be feeling a little cranky if I don't. Mm. 
are we up against? Okay, so that... That goes there. Mm, he wasn't thunder. <gasps> Three this time. We're moving up, guys. Ooh. Congrats. Thank you. And we got to level up. So maybe another fight and then Mar will level up. He fulfilled the requirements for Orc Child's Enemy Story. Ooh. Mm, a door. The door is shut tight. It seems some strange force keeps it barred. Upon closer examination of the door, you spot a cavity that looks like some sort of sphere should go there. Mmm, okay, so we have to find a sphere. Alright, I can do that. Hello? Do you have a sphere? Mm. Let me try this. <gasps> Ooh, a five! Oh, goodness. Yeah, he is weak to wind. There we go. Fortune favors the bold. Poor guy. Did not stand a chance. Thunder. Back to two. Oh, Ash, what am I gonna do with you? Buddy. We are leveling up. I can't wait to meet up again with the with the gang and beat them up. Extract my revenge. <laughs> Magic sphere. Ooh. Can't go that way. Enemy. Well, I know where I have to go, right? So I just have to go to the left side. Hmm. No, we'll one shot this guy. Ram into him. Oh, we're growing. We're getting stronger. Fungo story. What is on this side of the cave? <gasps> Another treasure chest. Don't hold back. I won't. Was it freeze? <gasps> Seven. And he's frozen. Cannot move until they are attacked, and then they take double the damage. Easy. Cards cannot be afflicted with more than one ailment at a time. Check card ailment with the E key. Okay. Bam. Gone. Not a lot of gold. But we are kicking some butt. <gasps> Ooh, money. It's a whole armor. Okay. Now we may proceed. Mm, fit the magic sphere in the cavity? Yes. You put the magic sphere into the cavity, and the door.
door opens. Can we still keep the sphere? Who dares stand before me trying to stop me from getting to my treasure? Mm-hmm. Hey, rude. My roundhouse. Mm, I should be able to just get them, right? There we go. Oh, so hello if you're just joining us. Welcome. Ah, my treasure. Inspir elixir revives a target. Ooh, what a fancy name. Jump to the western cave? Yes. Level two. How am I today? I'm doing great. I'm playing this game finally. I've been really excited for it. Um, it's not late enough for trick-or-treaters yet, but... I might stop for a second to go give him candy. Enemy appears. Otherwise, yeah, I'm just here vibing. Tr having, I can't, I mean, with, you know, the pandemic and everything, I don't feel comfortable just like going to parties. Um, so. Instead, I'm here, hanging out with you guys, wearing my little bat wings, and then I got little Emil pumpkin heads on the board. It's very festive. I like it. Mm, what are they weak against? Was it wind? Oh, there's three of them. Oh, dang it. Hmm, there's a crit. Ow. Oh boy. Hey, if you could not do that, that'd be great. Um, let me see. Oh no, it's a one. Youch. Two? I should get two of them out of the way. Oh, Mark! Crit! Nice! Good job! Be gone. Get out of here. Oh, wow. Whoa. Okay, not not bad. Treasure discovered. Um, I haven't chosen right in a while. Dang it! It's just a normal salva. <sighs> it's okay. Fill the skull soldier's enemy story. Um, I will use. Um, equipment. Oops. I haven't acquired this yet. Oh. I see. Um, I do have, I have picked up quite a few of these, so I will heal her up cuz she's not doing too well. Okay. Moika succubus manga. Hey hey now. The claret trail leads you deeper into the cave. Was the walking wounded a monster or a human? Hmm? A knot forms in your gut. You raise the torch to get a better look at your surroundings. The walls have been gouged and scarred as far as you can see. Another message comes into view, written in tiny letters among the scars. I will find you. What? What horrors transpired here? Um, 
have the... I think someone needs to chill. What happened? Weird. Also, you're a voice actress? Yes! <gasps> oh, that is a big boy. Can I freeze him? That'd be really nice. Dang it. Oh, that wasn't too bad. Are you... Weak against thunder? Nope. Okay. Um... Wait, I'm gonna be greedy. Can I get enough damage? <gasps> oh. That did not work how I thought it would. <gasps> More! KO'd... Uh, allies can be revived. That's fine. How dare you? Rude. Oh, it's what I get for being greedy, though. I thought maybe he would... I thought the double ability acted differently. I don't know it'd be just the total of the dice. Hmm. We roll really low. I don't really like that. <laughs> but does he get... Does Mark get XP too? Okay, now... I need to go heal him too because he only has one HP. <laughs> oh, my poor Mark. Good thing we picked up quite a few of these. Mm, I'll do one more, because that's only one HP wasted, technically. Thank you. Hmm. Another big one. That guy's out of the way. Bum, 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 bum. Having only one HP is living like Larry, though. Oh my goodness. Ash! We have got to talk about these roles of yours. <laughs> oh, if he could have gotten a crit, that would be so nice. But yeah, I like this game. It's so cozy. There's nothing in there. Enemy appears. Mm. Before us? What? Oh, it's that big guy again. If I could... Mm, no, I could obliterate this guy out of the board. We just have to focus on this guy and hope that we can obliterate him as well. Please, Ash! Your rolls are awful! Okay, at least you got a crit that, that time. 
Deal damage equal to value of two rolled dice. That seems kind of... Kind of bad. Oof. Ow. Oh, and a crit. Ooh. Ooh la la. You did great. Thank you. I need to heal this man. He is low. Our last one. Should be fine. I can heal him after. Or like, he can heal himself when I start. So it's fine. What is... What is here? Is there anything here? And fight. Bah. Be gone. Hmm, I wonder what the mushroom monsters, if people, like, cook with them. You know? They are just mushrooms, right? Bah. Bum, bum. I'd be interested in knowing if they if they have good flavor to them. Um... <gasps> Treasure. You make to open the chest, but an ominous voice echoes around you. I will not relinquish my hoard. The next instant, something leaps at you <sighs> out from the darkness. What is it? There's no way it's a dragon. Oh no 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 Oh no 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 Oh we need that five 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 Oh it's a ten Good job Melanie Bah Heal Spies me a little extra time to do that, and then it'll deal double the damage. Um, equal to the value of two rolled dice. So I could get a 12, which would then turn into 24. But that's only if I get two sixes. But so far, my rolls have been kind of garbo. <laughs> mm. I'm gonna pass, because I think I want to have Melanie attack. Oh. Add value. We'll see how this goes. Oh, please, please, please. Oh, it's a six. Mm, he's not weak to wind either. Incantation. <gasps> No. Oh, more. Oh, and I don't have the thing. I don't have the curative. Uh oh. Um, I could cure him, but I could also just attack. Mm. Oh, we finally rolled above a three. Good job. 
proud of you, Ash. Also, hi, Fumi! Yeah! Oh my gosh, your hair wings are so cute. Thank you! I figured I'd try getting festive since it's Halloween. Mm. Try to freeze them. Maybe I can give myself enough time to uh, cure Mar. Oh, it's another... Oh, baby, it's another 10. Hmm. Now I can cure my poor boy. Wait. Eh. Wait, I can't. Oh no, it's only poison. <gasps> oh no. Oh my poor boy. Okay. I'll, I'll try thunder. Please, I'm begging. Melanie's been striking. Okay, oh, it's a four. Okay. Yay, we did it! Oh, that's quite a bit of gold. And we get a level up. Aw, Mar doesn't get one. The monster defeated, you turn toward the treasure chest. What is it? No, it's and we did it. As Ivory order jerks rooting through it. <gasps> you jerks! I know my boy Ash stole from you, but we destroyed the monster. Hey. You rush over, but you're too late to stop them. Hey. Sweet of you to take care of the monsters for us, Trills Winifred, favoring you with a smile. Oh, Winifred! Tucking the it was spoils one time. from the chest safely into a bag, the Ivory Order trio stroll away whence they came. Knowing you couldn't stop them if you tried, you can do nothing but stand slack-jawed and <sighs> watch them go. The chest is empty, save for a ragged doll. Nice of them to leave us the trash. Grumble in irritation. <laughs> For some reason, Melanie picks up the ragged doll. It's not trash. Filthy doll whose head seems likely to fall off at any moment now. Your shoulders slump. All that effort, and this is all you get to show for it? Oh, Ash! Mm -hmm. Stop being that way. Also... You find nothing else <gasps> even close to treasure. Hope Cipri is ready for bad news. Oh no, I'm sure Cipri will understand. Leave now would be the fastest way out. Mm, trying to think, did I miss anything else in the cave? I feel like we went through it pretty well, right? And I'm out of salves, so it would be the safest. Mm. Oh, if I had... Wait, do I have that item that lets me leave the cave at any time? I don't remember. Also, Mon, thank you for gifting out that sub. For me, I hope you enjoy the Moika emotes. <laughs> leave the Western cave. Chat, I'll let you decide. Are we leaving the cave or are we gonna... Are we gonna keep exploring the little bits that I missed? Because I think there was only... I thought we got everything, but maybe we missed an area. So... Mm, I see you can explore. Uh, try exploring more? Okay. Leave later. You decide to stay and explore the cave a little longer. Worst case, Ash can... Can heal. Ah, yeah, the left side is still wide open. Mm. Oh my, Melanie with these rolls! 
子。Get a good lightning strike in there. Oh my goodness, Ash, you are awful. <laughs> You're awful with these rolls. Oh, a good thing I got her that armor. <sighs> mm, oh, there we go. Ta-da! And he leveled up. Nice. Learned regenerate. Periodically restore your own HP by five for three turns. Hey, that's really nice. Okay, I really need to heal Melanie up. <laughs> <gasps> Treasure. Treasure was found. Namaste ring. Protects against paralysis. Hey, that would be really good. Menu. Um. Well, we've already had him with paralysis once, so I'm gonna give him the ring. Plus two. Okay. Do I. What do I have? Revive, cure poison, add fire, torches, the soothe stone, and the bomb. Okay. <gasps> we got quite a bit of money! Okay, because I know I'm like low on stuff, I'm just gonna head out. Yes. Because that, that was, yeah, that was pretty much everything. Not a bad find. Enemy peers. Was it this way? To get out? Let's find out. Mmm. Bam. Mmm. <laughs> Oh, please don't go next. Oh, okay. As long as it's not Melanie, it's fine. We're good. Heal her. That way, when we get out of the battle... Ooh! Wow! Good job, Ash! Wow, wow, wow! A good heal by him. There we go. Nice! Boom, boom, boom. Oh wait, this was not the way. Down, there we go. Wait, this wasn't the way out either! Ugh. Was it up? I thought it was down. I guess it was Let's up. Do this. Bam. Though, that is okay, because if Ash had gone first, he could have healed and topped up Melanie. <gasps> Treasure discovered? Hmm. Go with the middle. Yeah, okay. Not bad. It was up. Uh, wait, no. Too hot. Too much. Too much. Huh? I'm lost. Don't hold back. Get him. A six. We go. 
get him out. Also, thank you for the follow. Appreciate it. How do I get out? Is it this way? And was it fight. this way? Train this boy. <laughs> mm, this way. <gasps> there it is. Yes, I would like. I would love to leave. <laughs> immediately hop back into Thriston because <laughs> we're low on supplies on everything um hello were you is able this to all find yours? my treasure Cipri asked this is all we found says Melanie withdrawing the ragged doll Cipri's eyes widen as soon as he sees the doll and he reaches out to take it is this our doll? Is this your doll? Without breaking his gaze away from the doll, he begins to speak. Cipri tells you he gifted this doll to his young daughter a long time ago. But she fell gravely no. ill and died. Oh. Since then, Cipri has treasured this doll as he treasured his daughter. Then the monsters took it from him. Hmm. Cipri turns to Melanie, his head bowed deeply in gratitude. So you reclaimed the treasure by complete accident. You step closer to Cipri. What do you have to say? I'd be happy with- no, tell us about the dragon. Can't be rude, Ash. What do you know about the dragon? You rudely inquire. Oh, Ash. Cipri gestures as if to say, let's not get ahead of ourselves. Far to the east of town is a place called Unionville, where monsters and humans live together in harmony. According to Cipri, you might be able to learn something there, as the dragon and monsters are not totally unrelated. Hmm, interesting. Upon hearing that, you turn on your heel to leave. Cipri calls out to stop you. Journeying to Unionville entails traversing the dense expanse of the bewildering wood. You'll need this, he says, and holds out something for you. Hmm? Is it a pass? Oh, it's the flute! Kitchen in the bewildering woods to see what happens. You won't make it through the huh. bewildering wood without it, Cipri says. Your sights set on the distant Unionville, you resolve to navigate through the bewildering hmm. wood. Set out to the bewildering wood east of Thriston. To the east? Fulfill the necessary requirements and unlock Dr. Cipri's flip side story. Aww. 
We learned so much. Let me buy. Let me. I think I don't need to buy too much armor and stuff because in the next city, I'm assuming that there will be upgraded stuff. So I will buy one of these for next time because the dungeons could get a bit spooky. I have enough torches, I have an oil pot, I have a soothstone, and I have a bomb. So the rest of the money can go to like rings and equipment, maybe weapons. Mm. Oops. Well, if it isn't the head of the National Inn Association's son, the innkeeper huh? blurts out, overcome with surprise. You've clearly been mistaken for someone else, but the innkeeper looks so excited that you dare not oh. burst your bubble. Your room is free. <gasps> Do we... Will we be naughty? Oh, Ash is a bad influence. You know what? I'm gonna... We're gonna rest here for the night, guys. We will, we will rest here, and I will stop the VOD here, because I think that's a good stopping point. Also, I'm a little hungry. So, yeah, thank you for watching, if you're watching this over on my YouTube channel, which is just called Mega Moika VODs. Appreciate it, guys. See you next stream.